Over the years, our family's had a share of health problems. So prescriptions are a part of our life. Before we went to the big box store. We both thought it would help us save. But with the long lines and impersonal service, filling prescriptions became a chore. That's when a friend recommended DNH. Now Tristan knows our prescriptions. Brenda always helps us find the right vitamins. And after Dad's fall, Monica's been a real expert with all our home medical needs, all without the lines. Trust and service. That's our DNH. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends. It's Thursday, November the 8th, a couple of days after the election. I got my, my good friend with us. Kit Salter, but the other half of the, the good friend isn't here, Kathy. Where, where is Miss Kathy today? It's always the first question I get. If I show up, <laughs> someone will say, oh, Kit, well, where's Kathy? Well, you know, because Kit and Kathy are such a team. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. When you see one without the other, it's like something is missing. It's there. a simple bait and switch, Paul. It's a bait and switch. <laughs> I'm glad to have you here, Kit. I'm glad to have you here. The, the reason you're here today is because we're talking about Geography Awareness Week, which is next week, starts on Absolutely. Sunday. Starts on Sunday, runs November the 11th through the 17th. And both you and uh, Kathy were National Geographic. Right, for, right, right. For some time. And you're a geography professor, right? Uh, emeritus, retired. Yeah. And we were both with National Geographic, Paul, when they began Geography Awareness Week. Mm -hmm. The whole educational push that National Geo has made in the last 25 years relates a little bit to something we got started in Southern California that grew into a national pattern when national, when Gil Grosvenor, the president and chairman of the board, picked it up. And in an effort to try to get um, a sense of what geography is in American culture, they began a Geography Awareness Week. So and what I, happens during National Geography Awareness Week? Well. Let me give you one phrase that sets up the stage intellectually for it. Geography is everywhere, and geography is nowhere. It's like the best of times and the worst of times, in the sense that geography surrounds us. From my trying to find a parking place when you come to be on Paul Pepper's show, that's your first lesson in geography. Right. To where you sit vis-a-vis -vis you or other guests, that's location, that's geography. But people don't have a sense of it. It's just, oh, yeah, geography, state capitals, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. How far is it from here to Frankfort, Kentucky? And, uh, so what, you're trying to, 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 to move this to the forefront. Absolutely. If we do it for one week a year in the schools primarily, that's where the focus is, the thought is people will begin to see that resources and spatial transportation systems and human migration and the import-export flow has a financial but also an environmental impact. You weave these things together. The one that you talk about, December 11, uh, November 11 to 11, 17, 11 to 17, has a sub theme this year declare your interdependence. Okay. Declare your interdependence. And that's, this is s simple as trying to get kids to realize everything they have and do has some impact on another place that produces something, yeah. or another th or a thing that they throw away has to go somewhere. So I want to give, give you three exercises. Are you going to give me the pencil lesson? I'm going to give you that. Don't sneak ahead. Oh, okay. Don't sneak okay, ahead. I'm sorry. The, <laughs> the pencil lesson. It's always that was number two. Always right. dangerous to send Paul an idea. <laughs> I like to come just cold, stone cold. You sent me all this information yeah, on email, yeah. right. and let me tell you, it took me hours to open this this up. What Took me said. that long to write it. <laughs> okay. It's fair balance. All right. So the, the number the, one. Number one is called the global closet calculator. The exercise. global closet calculator exercise. Right. Which means you have kids, and this works for parents and husbands and wives and divorcees as well. You go into your closet and look at your clothes labels. You look at your shoes. If you can find labels, get down there and get into those shoes. You'll see where they come mm -hmm. from. Get electronics in your, uh, if they're not in your closet, the old ones are in your closet and the new ones are beside the bed or at your desk. And the kids have the assignment of figuring out where these things come from. And then they say, okay, I've got a Malaysia, I've got a Pakistan, I've got an El Salvador, I've got a China. And so they begin in a map to show where the things in their closet come from. And then they think about how long do they use them and where do they go when they're through using them. 
And they chart that on a map as well, different scale maps. China's on one kind of map and the mm -hmm. local goodwill is another size map. But they begin to see that they are in the midst of a flow of goods, and that's all geography. It's the resources, it's the processing, it's the transportation systems, it's the harbors, it's the truck systems, it's marketing, whether it's a box store or a little mom and pa store. The kids see, my gosh, this has come a long way. And then when they're through with it, it either goes to a younger sibling or to somebody down the street, or it goes to the Goodwill, or it goes to the junk, or it goes back, back in the closet or down mm -hmm. in the basement. I never thought of it <clears> that way, but that's a, that's a wonderful exercise. The, the, the global closet the, calculator. Yeah, yeah, the global closet calculator is can be done by any level, mm -hmm. and it has a lesson that never, ever loses value. Yeah. Because we are interdependent. We are, we are. We're, we only have two minutes left to be interdependent here. Here we correct? go. So the, the pencil lesson. The pencil lesson. lesson. Gil Grosvenor, who's the, in the line of Grosvenors that created, Alexander Graham Bell Grosvenors, created the National Geographic in, 19, in 1888, had a six-foot pencil made, a big, big pencil, even bigger than James, big pencil. And uh, he would take this to schools, and he'd say, okay, kids, what is this? And they'd say, that's a pencil. He'd say, yeah, but what is a pencil? It's just that big yellow thing in your hand. Yeah. Yeah, well, what has it got? Well, it's got an eraser. It's got a metal band. It's got some paint color on it, it's got wood, and it's got graphite in the middle. And all of those items came from different parts of the world. Brazil, Sweden, South Africa, Mozambique, yeah. Estonia. And it was such a neat lesson because it's so simple. Then the third lesson is, I can't tell you the whole story because you don't go to school in and find out. The other lesson we're trying to push for this particular Declare Your Interdependence is something called uh, Mission Explorer. Okay. Because kids love exploration. They love pictures in National Geographic or on television or in movies about penguins. Why penguins? Why have penguins become so important? But they like to see the other world distant, distant from them. And so we have one of the three websites I've given to Travis to put okay. on the screen at some point. Well, get, tell us the website. All right, here they are. You ready? Yeah. Number one is geographyawarenessweek.org. Okay, so it's geographyawarenessweek.org. All one word. That's the National Geographic. But there's Geographic. a www, right? Oh, yeah, there's yeah, okay. an H there. Okay. The next that's, one? The next one is called mga.missouri.edu. So www.mga.missouri.edu. And that's the Missouri Geographic Alliance. Okay. And the third one is okay. missionexplorer.net slash groups slash Missouri. Okay. And that gives you the exploration candidates uh, that go with things in that we have now in the libraries okay. for Geography Awareness Week. All right. And you know what? Uh, we're out of time, Kit Salter. You, you could do a whole hour, I thought you? this was going to be eight minutes. This was eight minutes. No, it's, it's just gone. two minutes. No, it's gone. This it's is gone. just a little... In fact, we got to go now. Kit Salter, thank you so much for coming by. Always a pleasure to have yeah, you here. Cool. We could talk a whole hour. Our Kathy. program, Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Kyle Fellings from KBIA. Our floor director is Charles Minshew and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Bowser. We'll see you tomorrow. Hi, Kathy. Bye-bye. <laughs> She'll love that.